The future of the Cross Bay Ferry is currently up in the air. This week, Pinellas County Commissioners voted to terminate the contract with the operator, and despite how that may sound, it does not mean curtains for the Cross Bay. News Channel 8's Chip Osowski joins us now live from St. Petersburg with the details, so it's not bad news necessarily. Not at this point, not yet. And the area that you see behind me is where the Cross Bay Ferry actually docks here in St. Petersburg. It does transport locals and tourists from St. Petersburg to Tampa and vice versa. Pinellas County commissioners want to make sure taxpayers are getting the most bang for their taxpayer buck. How much money are we talking about public dollar wise going to this fair? It's $190,000 per um, entity. Pinellas County Administrator Barry Burton explains Pinellas County, Hillsborough County, and the cities of Tampa and St. Petersburg each shell out nearly $200,000 per season to keep the ferry financially afloat. Commissioners are now wondering, is that taxpayer money well spent? They get all the um, concession revenue, uh, for instance, as one piece. Well, how much is that? Let's talk about what the overall contract um, because this is a four-year deal the ferry operates seasonally and some believe seeing it go away would be a shame i love it it's a just nice relaxing way right now with traffic and everybody from up north coming in here and clogging up the roads and all the traffic on the franklin and then the gandy and then there's the economic impact for local businesses Robin Bugs operates Ancient Herbal Care on the pier. I mean, it encourages a lot of tourists to want to visit both places, both areas. Yeah. If it were to go away. I think if it went away, I think people would be really discouraged. The discussions haven't even begun yet. St. Petersburg city leaders are confident the ferry will sail on. Evan Morey is the city's transportation director. I would say it's certainly not cause for panic because it's clear that all the government entities want this to continue in the future. It's just a matter of exactly how that happens. And in order for the ferry service to resume next season, each of the entities, that's the city of St. Petersburg, the city of Tampa, Hillsborough County, and Pinellas County, have to come to an agreement by August 15th. Reporting live in St. Petersburg, I'm Chip Osowski, 8 on your side.